guys! Today I'm doing a much requested video on cheaper or do-it-yourself toys for ferrets. While I've talked about how expensive ferret care can be, I can actually link a video up in the cards and down in the description about it, you don't have to necessarily spend an arm and a leg to keep them happy and entertained with toys. Today I want to show some almost free, if not very inexpensive, things that you can do, as well as some just cheap things that you can get for your ferrets to play with. So I'm going to show you some of the things that could be free to very, very low cost to some just low cost things, but make sure to stay to the end so you actually see how our ferrets enjoy all their new stuff. Let's talk stuff that you may actually have already around the house. If not, you might be able to pick up somewhere even free, and that's boxes. So ferrets, they love boxes. I can't tell you how many times I've had boxes and stuff lying around, and they get more enjoyment out of that than some of the toys they have. You may not have something like this ginormous box lying around, but even something like a cereal box, they can fit in there and that's actually a lot of fun for them. Something else that you may be able to get for free, like from a grocery store, is paper bags. So I know some of the grocery stores we go to offer either paper or plastic. So I always get paper, so I have extra paper bags for the ferrets and our cats. <laughs> Something else that's similar to paper bags that you can either buy for pretty cheap, again, they're at the dollar store, or you just might have laying around from an old gift or something, is like gift bags. So just like a paper bag, these can be a whole lot of fun. The other thing you might already have around your house is like paper. So I always have computer paper lying around, but something like newspaper, so if someone likes to read the newspaper, or you can even get them sometimes just for free at different spots that give out newspapers, but just any kind of like scrap paper can work out really well. So for the paper or newspaper, I'm just gonna take all this and crumple it up and just throw that in the big box. All right, so for some cheaper alternatives, we took a trip to our local Dollar Tree. Now, there are some dollar stores that have actual items that are a dollar, and there are those that things are cheaper, but not necessarily a dollar. Where we went, everything was, well, now a dollar 25, but it was an actual dollar store. So I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we got. First was this awesome find. This is actually like a puzzle toy meant for like dogs and stuff. And while it might be a little too like dinky for my dogs because they'd probably just flip the whole thing over to get treats, this definitely could work for your ferrets. But if you get some like freeze dried treats or something like that, you can hide them underneath there and they have to get these little pieces out. So this for a dollar or a dollar 25 was actually a really great find. So this is what it looks like open. You basically just put the little treats in there and you can see these little green things have little holes in it so they can still kind of smell the stuff. So you just hide the stuff in there, cover them up and let them have at it. So I'm excited to see if they'll be interested in that or not. Next, I got some stuffed animals. Before I go any further into the toys, it's very important you know your ferret and know whether or not they need to be supervised with different kinds of toys. Hi, you always wanna be part of the videos. <laughs> Now, my boys have never chewed up stuffed animals. They've had them for years and they just get dirty. So I know mine are safe, but I know people who have ferrets who do like to chew up stuffed animals and that can actually be a danger because they can swallow it and it become a blockage. So you may only be able to play with stuffed animals when you're there with them and not necessarily keep it in their enclosure. Now, when looking for stuffed animals, it's important that you get things that are relatively safe. So a couple of the ones I found like they don't have plastic eyeballs on them because those are usually really easy to chew off and then again swallow. So none of these actually have plastic eyeballs. I got this little guy, which I'm gonna actually make something with this guy, but these two, I'm just gonna let them play with. Now I also picked up some yarn. I'm gonna use that to make something. And then I found these little jingly plastic balls with little bells in them. So it's again, they're not rubber. Rubber can be very dangerous for ferrets because that can be easily chewed. Plastic, most ferrets aren't gonna chew through plastic. So I actually got, I actually got three packs of these. So I've got 18 balls. Yeah, 18 balls for them. Something else I found in the actual baby section are these little fleece blankets. So they're not gonna be very large, but for ferrets, this actually could be perfect. So again, only $1.25, I got two of these for now. And then I also found this crinkly paper. Now I've actually bought this for them for a dig box a long, long time ago. It was actually in the pet section, I think meant for like, I don't know, guinea pig enclosure, or maybe a rat enclosure or something. But this is just in the, uh, like celebration section, so meant for putting, either decorating a table or in a gift bag. I just got the all natural paper one, so not like any colors or anything or dyes on it. And finally, I got a few of these little cubes. So they're those cloth cube organizers that just pop up into squares. So I'm hoping to do something fun with these. 
So I'm gonna get most of this stuff open and then we're gonna see what we can do. All right, so now that I got everything opened, these cubes, they come flat. So they just kind of pop open like so. And then they have like this little bottom to give it a little more support. And we're just gonna make this kind of like a fun, not a dig box, but kind of like a ball pit type thing. So we're gonna put all of these in there. So, so far it's kind of what we got. Now you could easily obviously spend more money and get a lot more balls in here to make a big ball pit. But again, we were just trying to show a cheap, fun alternative and that will still be fun for them. Or apparently Loki. Hey, this is not for you. I'm sure you'll share with them, but can we... I know, it's just not fair. Nothing for Loki. All right, next, I'm gonna add in this crinkle stuff in there. So now we're gonna have crinkly balls that jingle and everything else. But I'm gonna break this up a little bit. Again, you could have did a little less. You could probably even did just one of these because that actually filled it up pretty good. So in all, I had three packages of the jingly balls, two of the crinkly paper, and then this. So three, four, five, six, six, like seven dollars ish. Again, some dollar stores are actually still a dollar right now. Not all of them gone up to a dollar twenty-five, so it could just still be seven bucks plus tax. So not super bad to have like a cool little enrichment dig box thing. All right, next I have another idea that I think is going to be cool. We're gonna set these guys up, and then we are gonna set a second one up. I'm not sure if this is gonna work in my head it will and it's gonna be cool so we're gonna take this one and make it upside down and we're gonna put it over this one and hopefully it fits all right all right so that turned out better than I thought it would now we have a completely solid cube so obviously I want them to be able to get inside. So we are gonna pick a spot to cut a hole. So this is one of the bottoms and this is pretty flimsy. It doesn't have like the cardboard since it's just the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a hole here and hopefully it turns out okay. I'm just gonna wing it and I'm just gonna try to, oh, all right, well, that's where my hole's gonna be. I'm gonna start out small cause I can always make it bigger. So I'm just kinda, Cutting along here. I could make like a template with a circle and make it like a perfect circle, but I'm not going to because in the end, the ferrets aren't gonna care. Um, that's gonna be way too small for a ferret. So we're gonna go a little bit bigger. All right, ta-da. So a very not so circular circle, but big enough they can get in and out, but it's a, otherwise a solid cube. And then I'm gonna take one of these cheap little fleece blankets that I found for again, a dollar or dollar 25, and we're just gonna put that in there. All right. Now I did buy two of these, so for fun, I just might shove the second one in here. Really not necessary. So you can definitely get a Heidi cube with a little fleece blanket in there for just three items, the blanket and two cubes. So again, either three or like 375 if it's a dollar 25 a piece. And then, yeah, that was pretty simple. And for fun, I'm just gonna shove this little guy in there. And I'm actually gonna throw this guy into that little dig box we made. All right, another fun toy that's not always fun for all ferrets, but some do like, like cat teaser toys. So these are just basically those toys you normally buy for a cat, which mine are all tangled because I have too many. But basically you have the stick, the string, and then something for them to chase. So again, not all ferrets like this kind of playtime where they're chasing something. For instance, Hagrid, he does not really like playing this game, but Winky loves it. I can get him to like run for hours. He'll just keep chasing him. Now, those toys can vary in price depending on where you get them. I've spent, I think like $1.25 at a normal store for some of them. And I've spent upwards of like 10 something for one. Yes, I'm crazy. Now this dollar store actually didn't have any. So we're gonna make one using the yarn we bought and this little guy right here this doesn't have to be perfect because again you just need something for them to be able to chase if that's what your goal is so basically I'm just gonna take this yarn and I'm gonna find a way to attach it to him 
So I might just attach it to his little tail. If not, I'm just going to tie it around, honestly, his whole little body maybe. But we're going to try, but we're going to try and see if we can get this just like so. Nice and tight. Now I could probably leave that, but I'm going to cut that off. Now I'm not going to have the stick on here. Um, I could have probably found something at the dollar store to work, but again, just trying to keep this cheap and your ferret's not going to know that there's not a stick on here. That's not the part that they care about. You just need something to be able to dangle this. So we're going to just get some of this and then we're going to cut that. This is probably way too long, but so now we have this little toy. So again, there's no stick with it, but again, it's not necessarily. It basically, the whole point is just for them to chase it. And if you can just dangle it and, you know, run it across a surface, that is all that's going to really matter. So this cost me like $2.50. Again, you might be able to actually find one of those cat teaser toys for a dollar at some dollar stores. We didn't have one and I just wanted to be able to make one. So here we go. Another thing I wanted to share that isn't necessarily super inexpensive, but honestly, I don't think it's too bad if your budget allows, is tubing. Ferrets love playing in tubes. And you can get actually tubes that are made for ferrets from the pet stores, but I find that they tend to be a lot more money. Yes, they're clear, so you get the funness of being able to see your ferret run through there. But I mean, after a while, it is what it is. And honestly, it's more for them than you. So this was just from our local hardware store and it's pretty decently sized and only cost me like $7 and some change. So it wasn't too bad. This is actually called drainage pipe. So you have to go like where their outside drain stuff is. So like a Lowe's or Home Depot will usually have this, but again, not super bad. And, and this is 12 feet of pipe. So it actually stretches out even more. It's all kind of tied up right now, but this actually stretches out to 12 feet. So 12 feet of like tunnel stuff for them for only $7 and some change. Not too bad. Again, your price might vary on your location, but I'm assuming they're not going to be too expensive. So I'm going to set up all these boxes in the paper bag and stuff, and we're going to see what the boys think. All right, so we're going to see what they think. that as an afterthought I did take these off so if your gift bag has strings on it I'd cut them off just so they don't get like strangled on the gift bag strings <laughs> store stuff. This is not their first tunnel, so they definitely are a pro. And here goes Haggard.
got it. Oh my goodness. And an added bonus, all of these toys, the boxes, the paper bags, and all the stuff I made <laughs> totally would work for cats as well. Again, on the little hidey hole, you'd probably have to put a bigger hole. And if your cat is big, like Loki, they may not be able to fit. I'm sure Mr. Thor there would. But again, still great toys for cats. So yeah, I think they were a success. <laughs> it is a little later in the day, so they're a little less playful than they normally would have been. They are much more playful in the morning and in the evening, right? So that's why he is already going to bed. But this cube here with the blankets was definitely a success, and I think the other toys were as well. So hopefully this gives you some ideas and some stuff that you can come up for your little furry noodles. Thanks for watching. What? You usually want to go to sleep when we put you down? He's like, I just would like you to put me down. <laughs> I'm going to hide. All right. Good night, Hagrid.